today we are going to see about how a butterfly is classified do you love butterflies i love them very much do you know how they are classified let's see although butterflies are one of the most widely studied insect groups there is no uniform method to classify them the symposium of the royal entomological society of london subdivided butterflies into two super families the hespinoloidea and the piploidea the first group that is hesperoidea has only one family skippers as they are popularly known they are very good flyers they are called so because of their ability to fly very fast they are very similar to moths Many skippers are dull in color like moths. They are larvae feed on lot food and plants. They rest as pupa in the cocoon whereas pieces of dried up leaves are mixed. Let's see some interesting facts. First one over the alps european painted ladies can fly over even high mountains in the alps. Ladies means female butterflies. Mount, they move northwards each spring until they are killed off by the cold weather. Second one, refuge in tall buildings. During fall, migrant monarch butterflies fly as high as buildings like Empire State Building, which are hundreds of meters tall. It is in USA. Third one, coma. The coma is a woodland butterfly. that is known for its irregular wing edges and it is why these butterflies are commonly called angel wings okay the fourth one it's interesting long lived butterfly the butterfly that has the longest life is brimstone butterfly or gonathrex rami they live for 9 to 10 months Usually butterflies live only for 8 to 10 days, right? 